Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Martin and every day is an adventure. So thank you for joining us on today's adventure. It's been a long time since I've seen you guys. It's been a really long time, I know. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's big in everyone's life, something that people don't want to have, but also can't accept that they have, and at the same time, can't face what they have. And that thing is fear. Fear plays a very big role in our life, both in a negative and a positive way. I've been talking to a lot of people who have been trying to face their fears, and it's hard to. But here's the thing about facing your fears. If you really want to stop living the life that you're living right now, the one where you feel too comfortable or it's not challenging enough, if you really want to stop living that life and start living the one that you keep dreaming about, the one that you really have passion for, or the one that you think about the most, you need to face your fears because everything you want is on the other side of fear. I think we're all kind of caught in this in this world where we feel at certain ages we have to reach a certain moment in our time or we have to reach some kind of pinnacle at a certain age and then that's supposed to be it. But you realize that we're supposed to have 100 years on this earth so you can't just think that at 22 years old that you're going to find the thing that you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. You may not want to be doing what you are doing at this moment five years from now. You know, who's to say? So I want to show you guys a couple videos that played a very big part in my life. And these are two totally different moments um, in my lifetime, but they were used significantly to, one, face my fears, but also to help me come to a decision. I was going through a time in my life where I was trying to figure myself out. And the only way I know to do that is to challenge myself and know that everything is going to be okay. You know, you, you get scared if you're, you know, you're going into your game, your first game or your uh, first recital or, you know, whatever it may be where you're very nervous or you're scared. There's always going to be that moment where you just feel like it's almost life threatening in a sense, you know, n not that it is an actual, but they say that when you're in a life or death situation, your life flashes before your eyes, right? Like you see everything and then you have this moment like, I need to appreciate life more. You know, it comes to that. It comes to a near death, death experience or something super drastic that happens in your life in order for you to understand or see that you should be living your life already. So for me, I hate heights. Heights scare the sh out of me. Ever since I was a little kid, I remember I hated heights. Heights, I, I just grown up to hate heights with a passion. My perfect day would be you in my arms. So this place, this place is called Candy Rock. I seen it, I seen it on a photo somewhere, and someone was doing like a reverse flip where they go this way instead of this way and it looks so cool you know I was like yo I was I was at this point in my life where I was challenging myself to do new things and push myself beyond limits that it just felt so good that I wanted to know what was next in life you know and I got to a point where I was good with the job that I had but I also wanted more and there was a shift happening during that time where another job opportunity was presenting itself and I just didn't know what to do because you know I had been there for the people at my other job my old job and it was hard for me to say goodbye to them you know so I wanted to hold on just a little bit more but at the same time this new job was offering me more knowledge and that's what I was excited about and it's just I was in this emotional tug of war and I was like you know what I need to figure myself out you know I gotta figure out what's what am I gonna do next, you know? So at some point, I made a decision that I was going to go to Candy Rock and jump off that rock. Do, 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 do. So we made it to the first part of Candy Rock, but now we have to... Uh... This is like part three. <laughs> <laughs> my perfect day would be you in my arms Watching Make 
was, you know, it was a great time. It really was. And I initially wasn't going to jump off that rock, but before we left or, you know, before we were going to leave, my friend Ari was like, hey, we need to jump off that rock. That was the main goal is that we said we were going to come out here. And if we came out here, we were going to jump off that rock. And I was like, shoot. So it took me some time. You know, when I got up there, obviously, like, you know, it's still, it's still heights. Like, sh it's scary. That thing was, like, at least two, two stories high, you know, going into the water. And you can't see down in the water. And it's just scary. As so all these death ideas came to my mind about, you know, I'm going to hit the bottom. It's too shallow. I'm not going to jump far enough. I'm going to hit the rock and tumble down, hit my head or whatever, right? I scared myself to death. And that's why I could not jump. You know, I created this wall. And it's like, ew, dude, like I didn't want to go. But eventually, I finally took a step and jumped off, right? Something pushed me over the edge and it was just this instinct of like, you need to make a decision. You know, and I felt like that was kind of pertaining to my life is that I needed to make a decision, right? And the jump, when I landed in the water and I came out and I was like, yo, dude, this was, it was so, it was such a great feeling, such a great feeling. And that's something that I, I chose to do for myself to face my fears, right? Like I chose to do that instead of it being like, I was kind of like, <laughs> you know, edged on to like facing my fear. This one was, I chose to face my fear. I solely put myself in the, in the position of looking at death right in its face and just saying, you know what? I have faith everything's gonna be okay, right? And that's the idea is that if you just take a leap of faith on your new life or your new path, everything's gonna be okay. It helped me decide to move forward from my old job because I wasn't happy there working for these people, but I was there for the people and I loved the people, you know? So a new job that offered me more knowledge and just a better environment, that's where I wanted to be. And then I got excited about meeting new people and creating new classes and just being surrounded by a whole new environment of people who understand what I was doing. You know, and that felt really good. It was scary. It was scary to figure out, do I create a new path or do I stay on the same one? Like stay with these people because I've been there, you know, for a couple of years. So I have this whole following and yada, yada, yada. Or do I go off onto a new one, start over and this? Yes, start over because you need a new height to reach. You've reached this one, that's why you feel so comfortable because there's nowhere else for you to go and you need something new. This you can write off now, like this was a branch, now it's time for you to write a new one or to jump onto a new branch and figure out that life. I came out this way and happened to find something amazing. It's a waterfall and it's a big boulder here that you can jump off of, so. You know, the scary part to this, getting over the fear that you won't land on some rocks underneath the water. That's why I'm like being really hesitant right now. Let's do it. Came out here, jump off that rock this morning. That was my main goal. what I've learned about if you don't face your fears, if you choose not to face your fears, then you'll be part of that 99.9% .9 of people who continue to wish and dream about a life that they want instead of being part of that 1% of people who actually make that life or make those dreams come true. You can live that life right now if you choose to start facing fears that hold you back from living a life that you want. It's that simple. Fear is something that we create. It does not exist. And that's the crazy part of this all, man, is that we create fear and it holds us back. But it really does not stand in front of us. It's not something that's really like, uh -uh, you can't go there. It's not pointing a gun at us and saying, if you can go across that line, I'm gonna shoot you. It's literally you saying that to you. 
you're saying that you can't have that life. So when you don't face your fears, you never have the courage to actually stand up to yourself and say, I can have that life. And that's what it teaches us. Is when you face your fears, you're facing the bully. This bully. You bully yourself into a life that's already kind of paved for you. You know, go to school, go to college, get good grades, you get a job, you get a job so that you can pay that school off and then you live the rest of your life until you pay that off. It's not the life I want to live, you know? So to me, fear plays a huge role in our lives progressing forward. And if you guys are looking to progress your life and you feel like there's something that's holding you back or you can't understand the reason why you're not moving in that direction, there's something in your life that you know you have to do in order for your life to move forward, but it's you that's stopping you. So whatever it is, go and have a conversation with yourself. You know, really understand why you're staying away from it and be brave enough to step foot into even trying to conquer it. It makes a world of difference, guys. Remember, hit that subscribe button if you guys aren't subscribed already. Hit that notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I release a new video. And if this helped you in some way, I'm so glad that it helped you. Still, leave a comment down below to let me know that it helped you out. I'll give you guys a big thumbs up. Um, and I'll comment right back to, to y'all because I want to I want to communicate with my community. And that's important to me that you guys know that I'm there for you. Regardless, on the other side of this lens, same thing. Right now I'm talking to a camera, but really I'm talking to y'all. And I'll make that known. Just remember, guys, if it didn't kill you, life's got bigger plans for you. All right, guys. Remember, keep on growing, but always stay rooted. Peace out, y'all. See you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.